Next, I'm going to demonstrate the internal release on a pelvic floor model so that you can get some practice outside of your body first. So remember the pelvic clock that we went over a bit ago? You're going to use this orientation to investigate trigger points of the pelvic floor that might be contributing to your pain. Gently insert the tip of the wand into the anus. Allow the body to get used to feeling a sensation around the anus. Never force the wand in. If you feel ready to move on, insert the wand about one to three knuckle lengths in deep. Don't go past the first curve. Next, you'll pull the handle slightly towards you so that the tip of the wand is pointing at six o'clock, which is your tailbone. From here, you're going to sweep the wand from six o'clock to one o'clock by bringing the handle away from you and to the right. Come back to six o'clock and sweep in the opposite direction from six o'clock to 11 o'clock. If you have pain at the tip or body of the penis, bladder, or urethra, look for trigger points at 1 and 11 o'clock. If you have pain between the base of the penis and anus, or feel fullness or pressure in the prostate, look for trigger points between 3 and 4 o'clock and between 8 and 9 o'clock. If you experience pain or fullness in the rectum or have pain around the tailbone or hips, Look for trigger points between 2 and 3 o'clock and 9 and 10 o'clock. If you find any tender spots or trigger points, don't go poking around pressing too hard. This is no time to be macho. Apply a gentle pressure, being respectful of how your tissues feel. So if 0 means no pain and 10 means take me to the emergency room, please don't push it past the 4. You can also make small sweeping motions over the tender spot if that's comfortable. You should feel the spot ease up or go away. If it doesn't, go ahead and move on to another spot and come back to see if the previous spot feels better. Oftentimes it will. I want you to practice this technique a few times outside of your body first. 